Well, hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're gonna do some work on an engine stand. I have had this engine stand for several years now. And uh, the issue I've got is the casters on the bottom will not allow me to really spin the engine around on the stand like what I need to. Um, so we're gonna make some adjustments to that, put some new casters on the ends. Uh, so I bought some aftermarket casters. Uh, so we're gonna have to probably drill a few holes and get things lined up so that they'll go back in the, in the existing holes and work. Now let me flip my camera around here and we'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so most of you uh, have been watching, I've been doing a lot of work on these Alice Chalmers tractors and uh, the issue I've got on this engine stand is that front caster right here uh, does not swivel, it's fixed. Uh, so we got the rest of them swivel. So whenever I go to pull the, the uh, stand back and forth, then those two, uh, front wheels kind of, they just kind of slide, you know, pull to the side. So what we're gonna do is put these uh, casters on that are swivel casters. It's a three inch diameter caster, matches what's on their existing. Uh, so it's not gonna change really anything that I've got going on. So we'll put those uh, right here like so. The issue, is the plate up top here is a little bit different drill pattern. So we'll probably line up one side, drill some new ones. I'm not sure yet. We'll just have to figure that out. So first thing we're gonna do is get the leg lifted up where we can see what we've got on the bottom side. And I'll put my jack up underneath there because I don't want to take my block off. And I've got, got this thing loose. So we'll just pull the pin here that allows us to lift this thing up for the storage piece of it. Put that pin back in so it doesn't slam down on my concrete in case it falls. So basically now we'll just take this one off and then we'll check out and see where we're at on our uh, on the drill pattern. So it looks like we got four nuts in there and four bolts and we'll have it. All right, so first thing, I'm gonna just pull the caster off and get it out of the way, and then that's gonna allow me to use uh, my drill on those. So let me just get that. Yeah, I thought it was a 5 8 what do we got here? 11 16 Let's get this one out of the way. And I'll keep these around the shop because you never know when you might need one. They're good heavy duty. I think the new ones I got were $12 a piece or something. Nothing too crazy. So swap out to a 9 16 I'll just zip these off here. They're gonna fall right out the bottom here. One more. All right, so this actually worked out pretty decent because it's gonna give me a nice pattern to use, so we can just take this one here. Let me slide back over here to the bench. So there's my new one. And it looks like we've got two of those holes on up and the other two are there. So let me flip over. Yeah, they're gonna be out here in the open as well. They're gonna be, you know, somewhere in this area. So yeah, that's not gonna be bad at all. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a marker, we'll just mark center line on those. And then uh, I'd like to use my drill press, but I'm not sure as far as holding this, how easy that's gonna be. So we may just have to use a, just a vise in the drill and knock those out. So let me grab my marker and we'll get that uh, marked and we'll get it drilled out. All right, so I'm just gonna mark these. I 
All right, got those two marks made. All right, I'm just gonna tighten this up just to kind of hold it. I'm gonna put a center point mark right there and that'll guide my drill bit. Slide this on in there. And I'm just gonna line these back up just to make sure that I'm in a good place. Looks good. Do a pilot first. I like using that cutting oil. That stuff keeps your bit from getting real hot. Got those two drilled out. Got a couple burrs on the back side there I'll need to knock off. Check it out with our pattern. Kind of see how we did there. So yeah, looks, uh, looks pretty good shape. Um, these holes are a little bit larger, so I got some room in those. So let's slide over, back over to the uh, stand. Now I think what I'm gonna do, because these are a little bit wider, I'm just gonna turn the, uh, you know, right here is probably the edge. You know, I, I can't really shave a whole lot off without getting into my uh, caster. So I'm probably just going to turn that to the inside. I'll be sticking over a little bit on the edge there, but it's really not that big of a deal. So I'm going to grab my hardware. Let's start with the top one here. All right, so I got both the casters replaced and now's the tester and I wanna see how well it functions. Yeah, that's a night and day difference. That looks perfect when we get these heavy engines on here. Sometimes it's hard to, hard to move around. So anyway, there we go. That's uh, add the casters to the uh, engine stand. I hope you uh, enjoyed watching. Uh, just a few things that you can do on your own in the shop there. Uh, make a nice little project out of it. So please hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll get back to you.